this is my new toy my new baby i bought a heart rate monitor because i thought it could be interesting for you guys to see some of the chess and non-chess action hitting my microphone and all that on my stream with the heart rate being visible on screen i tested this the day before and my resting heart rate was at about 72 74 then i hit start streaming and my heart rate goes all the way up i'm always hyped and excited every time i stream it was 95 at around 100 going all the way up to 100 when i was streaming and talking to you guys through twitch i did some puzzle rush then as a warm-up and it somehow lowered my heart rate Puzzle Rush should normally be a very high pressure situation for the time pressure, but it does seem like chess is my happy place because it, it dropped my heart rate lower. But you know what's not my happy place? Bullet chess. I'm terrible at it. I've always been a classical chess player an hour and a half, two hours per game just for my own time management. I love to think, I like to think through my strategies and also over the board and online chess are very different when it comes to my mouse accuracy and being very clumsy. So here is my nightmare of time controls, bullet chess together with a heart rate monitor. How high do you think my pulse will go? How high do you think that number will be in the heat of a very much high pressure time pressure situation one minute per game one minute till the end of the game let's see <laughs> okay here we go guys this is the first time i'm trying to play bullet chess which i'm not good at i'm gonna be i think i'm gonna be peaking with the heart rate but we shall see i guess it also depends on how good or bad my position is so let's begin One minute, random challenge. Let's go. Let's go! That's tricky, but I'm gonna take it! I'm gonna take it! <laughs> free stuff! Thank you for the free stuff! My opponent is pre-moving everything, hoping that I'm gonna blunder my pieces. So I have lots of extra material. But less time. Less time. Oh, should have removed the capture. moves but i'm up a rook i'm up a rook uh, um i should have moved the rook somewhere else somewhere more meaningful and i'm losing my pawn but it's okay it's what it is it's up a rook and in terms of time well that pawn is annoying that pawn is annoying but i'm gonna go for the threat of checkmate checkmate in two not bad <laughs> heart rate peaking from what i see but not bad for how nervous i am on my bullet chest it's not a bad start not the best start what was our highest what was the peak what was the peak guys <laughs> what was the peak 120 <laughs> I'm telling you guys, bullet chest makes me really nervous because I'm not good at it. Not bishop g5 this time. Oh, I pre-moved. See, okay, in this one, I, I did what I shouldn't have done in the... Oh, no! <laughs> I pre -moved. I'm resigning this game. This this is exactly what I didn't do in the first game and now I did it and my opponent punished me immediately. Marcos showed why you should not pre-move like this. This is nerve-wracking, but I'm not gonna pre-move everything. I'm gonna learn. You need to know when to pre-move. Super important. Just move the piece there but do not actually move it you can pre-move captures 
That's annoying though, my opponent's coming here. made a free move that actually worked <laughs> for once but with captures it's a lot easier obviously a lot easier with captures shouldn't have removed that night move but in the end both is gambit <laughs> thank you for the game j rope oh i'm playing with the white pieces I don't know why I'm going for this, but I'm going for it. That's annoying. Am I losing something? Hopefully not. Oh, that is too many things. What am I gonna do? Um, I guess for now I can do this. Well, losing a pawn is better than losing a piece, I guess. <laughs> I guess, and I win this back. The pawn. Oh, this is hanging too. That's just... I mm, don't like that, but I had to. I don't like my position. I officially don't like this, but it's what it is. Less time and not a very nice position. Mm. Ugh, so ugly. So ugly. I'm gonna get checkmated. Not nice. Not nice. Ugh! <laughs> run and a run. I can survive. I'm not gonna get checkmated, but this is a bad position. This is bad. This is real bad. Oh, but I have a check too and free pawn. Well, it's not too bad anymore. What's going on? My opponent's going for tricks and checks and whatnot, but I don't think it's winning for him. Run! Anna, run! 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 I have five seconds and a bear king. <laughs> Seconds. No time. I don't have time. Mm. Yeah, it was very likely to lose on time with such a big difference. Although my position, I survived a really, really not, not cool, really not safe position with my king here. <laughs> Run away! This is a checkmate my opponent was setting up. And then it's time to run! Try to hide the king with a delayed bone cloud. Delayed bone cloud for the win. It's actually pretty safe here thanks to my bishop. Bishop blocking the e5, guarding f3. Pretty safe. <laughs> pretty safe, but I'm lacking a pawn. For how bad the position was and how low I was on time, I'm quite, I'm quite happy about almost making a comeback because I survived with the king. And then here I have less time, so it was likely, that, unfortunately it was likely, that, especially with checks, because I can't pre-move here. I'm gonna get, maybe I should have tried to pre-move the king move, but I'm, I don't have enough experience in that sense to to know that, oh, if I have one second, what do I do with 1.9 second? How do I, how do I try to survive? That's a good pre-move, because I can play the French defense, or I can play my queen's gambit declined. basically trapped but my opponent didn't try to exploit it that's fine pawn hanging and stuff defend and allow this trade i don't think they will take because then the default pawn is hanging let's go creative go creative <laughs> uh, maybe too creative maybe a bit too creative it's what it is it's a pawn not too not the end of the world it's a pawn And I have this beautiful square on d5. Compensation. Tiny bit of a compensation. Because it's bullet. 
I have less time though. I need to hurry up. Speed. We need speed and out speed. for my pieces. I don't know why I'm doing this but it was a fast move. <laughs> I just wanted a fast move I guess. Um, now I don't know what I'm doing any longer. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh I'm losing a pawn. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. And I'm losing b7 too. But it's okay. We traded. We traded. I'm gonna stop this pawn. Bring the king. Bring the king, bring the king further. Five seconds, I'm really low on time. I don't think I can make it, I'm too low on time. Too low on time. Oh no, and I stepped into it, I'm losing my pieces. Well played, live and let, live and let die, live. Live and let die, thank you for the game. This was, this was very well played. Oh, thank you for the rematch. I think I'm gonna get crushed, but I'm gonna accept it because you played so well my honor i don't know why i'm playing e4 i was gonna go for d4 openings in bullet but it's what it is wait my opponent is not here i wanted to give you a rematch oh you're here a rematch in a way that i lost the first game so actually my opponent is giving me a rematch not me giving a rematch In the pawn? Time to gamble! <laughs> Time to gamble! Because the bishop from b7 is attacked. So dropping a pawn. <gasps> Ooh, not just a pawn. This is more than a pawn. I'm pretty sure my opponent will see it. Check and then they take here. Uh oh, this is bad. I'm gonna have to try to flag them. I'm gonna need to try to flag my opponent because I'm completely lost. I'm down a piece. I'm down a piece. This is not going according to plan. But now I have some tricks. Now I have some tricks. Whoa! Look at that attack. Look at this attack. Ooh. Goodness me. I'm gonna give checkmate. <laughs> Out of a completely lost position to a checkmate attack. From a completely lost position. I just blundered at Bishop 23. Thank you again for the game, Live and Let Die. I'm sorry for the dirty game. French. switch let's switch plans not the best play but it's solid <laughs> this isn't ideal in the French defense uh, I'm just trying to go for quick moves instead of good moves with the knight or with the queen which one do i prefer hmm. i like both actually in that position both were appealing oh now i don't have 90 well i guess i should could have tried but it wasn't exactly what i wanted to do it wasn't exactly what i was hoping for back here Knight is a tricky piece. Wow, it's a tricky piece. Cashing in! Cashing in! Take this. And let's not get checkmated. Just don't get checkmated, Anna. Oh, my opponent has made a move. Oh, they, he really wants to checkmate me, though. How do I survive? Goodness me, how do I... <gasps> Here. It's almost checkmate, but I'm in time. I'm just in time to save the day. Take this. Here. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> I 
Oh no, I shouldn't have removed everything, I guess. I lost some time. I lost some time. Two moves away from checkmate. the move <laughs> luckily that was a luckily that was an illegal move that i pre-moved with the queen <laughs> i should learn how to take back the pre-move too i should definitely take back pre-moves sometimes all in on the e6 pawn e6 pawn is mine have a passport and all that stuff so not the best not the best play not the best yay but he can take my bishop too he didn't he didn't see it stop it stop it win it support it and push it! We won! With 15.6 seconds! So much! So much time! Oh, it was my turn. I should have pre-moved instead of waiting for my opponent. Interesting. Not the best move for me, but I'm just gonna move away then. Stick with the knight. Mm, not too happy about that decision of mine, but it's what it is. Do not blunder the queen, though. Do not blunder the queen, Anna. Do not blunder the queen. What am I doing in this structure? What am I doing? My opponent, too, is going for weird stuff. Go back. Also, hello, <laughs> hello. What am I doing? I should hurry up. That's what I should do. Hurry up. My precious. Let's not blunder my rook. Let's not blunder. Give me your pieces. Tricky. I'm not gonna fall for it. I'm not gonna fall for it. Stop my plan. Ah! Free stuff! It has to be checkmate soon, why am I not seeing it? I won on time in the end and I'm sure I missed mating one. Mating one or mating two I missed a couple of times, especially this rook check. But we did it! <laughs> we did it! Oh, 
131 was the peak. I'm not surprised. This game was nerve wracking. It was nerve wracking. What? Okay, I'm gonna resign this game because <laughs> I thought my opponent was pushing here and I saw I made this move and my opponent played e5 and my pre-move makes absolutely no sense after e5. This is how not to pre-move, ladies and gentlemen. This is how not to pre-move and because I spent so long explaining it. Kira, thank you for the lesson. Thank you for the lesson on how not to pre-move. Pre-move bad. Oh, that's not a pre-move. <laughs> that's not a pre-move. Pre-move bad. My opponent is very fast. I should be faster too. Wait, it's my goal? <laughs> Sometimes I don't realize if it's my turn. And that's bad because I'm losing time. I'm losing time by not realizing whose move is it. sense could have taken the spawn but no there's this pin i'm now after g4 i can get rid of the pin then take the pawn do i want to take not really What is going on in such a weird position? Let's go here. I want to take this. Oh, but let's not give up my queen for it. Oh no, my pawn! My pawn! Okay, uh, the other pawn disappeared. Not the best of games, to say the least. Not the best of games, to say the least. Not much time either. Don't know what I'm doing anymore. Don't know what I'm doing. Those knights are so annoying. I've just blundered. Oh, I've just blundered my knights. The only thing I have is the dirty flag. Oh no, I pre-moved. I could have taken that knight. It was free. If I hadn't pre-moved. Okay, now I'm checkmated. If I had not pre-moved, see this is what I, I said about mistakes, in this case it was more than a necklace, it was a straight out blunder. I moved the queen when I could have taken the knight, by moving the queen my knight is gone immediately. I was already so much down about the mistake that is like emotionally down that oh I blundered my piece, there's no chance, that I just started pre-moving nonsense instead of thinking that my opponent too could blunder maybe this is actually not a blunder because even if i take rookie to check intermediate move and once i move the king then my opponent can take and wins the piece so actually my opponent's move was a brilliant one but i still have fighting chances with the piece down because of the back rank and 97 check and such so i shouldn't have given up I guess I should be ready for all sorts of weirdness by my opponent. In this case, this endgame line. I didn't really need F3. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> don't know why I did that. Could have removed this and I go here. Let's go! Let's go! I'm not really gaining anything, but I can trade this bishop, which is a better bishop than the dark squared bishop. This is fishy by my opponent. Suspicious decision. But now I need to hurry up. Because suspicious or not, I'm slow. Did I have more, something more than this? Oh, this is check. Shoot, I did not see this. I did not see that. I thought I was winning material and now I didn't see bishop g5, but I should remember not to get tilted. 
Do not get tilted, Anna, because this game is more than winnable. More than winnable. I don't know why I didn't take my opponent's pawn. Now I'm gonna take it and not get, let that bishop out. This is a terrible endgame played by me. And still continues to be terrible. <laughs> still continues to be. I don't even know why I made this move. But I gotta be fast. No time to. <laughs> Sorry about the pieces I'm dropping. About the terrible play. No time to be sorry. I gotta escape. I gotta escape. I lost some time when I was pre moving happily my king run. <laughs> I lost some time. Shouldn't have removed d5 though. That was such a stop removing Anna. Stop removing, because <laughs> that's how you can blunder your queen. That's exactly what my opponent is trying to do in the previous game where I said it. My opponent is playing cutie Cinderella's opening. This is so annoying that my opponent knows. My opponent knows what's the best opening. The bucket, the torch, and the bucket going for the stone wall, exactly as cutie Cinderella showed me. And now it's checkmate stuff. I don't like this. Stop learning from cutie. I don't want my opponent to be as strong as cutie. This is annoying. I'm gonna sacrifice a pawn. I'm gonna give up a pawn just so that I can get rid of my opponent's pieces. So annoying. Knowing what my my coach, cutie Cinderella, has showed to me. How dare, how dare my opponent learns from cutie as well. She's my coach. She's my coach. Stop doing this. Okay, I have a pawn down but active pieces. Not too bad time to trade queens when my king is about to be attacked activity trade bring this activity more activity more activity chasing me but I'm gonna go here in return attack no more attack <laughs> come back no more attack pass pawn annoying that's a good idea good idea by my opponent I don't know why I'm doing this exactly but I already did it so it's so what it is how do I stop goodness me I cannot stop the pawn! I'm gonna do this. <laughs> I'm gonna have to give up my rook. Oh no. Lost on time with my opponent having 0.6 seconds. Well played, popcorn. Well played. I'm gonna stick to the French defense and just. Yeah, you can't really play it against e4. So it depends on your opponent's choice of opening. There we go. I'm not gonna castle on that flank. I'm not gonna castle here. I'm gonna attack. Attack and pawn. Free stuff. This is free too, but I don't care because it's about the attack. It's all about the attack. I should possibly castle queenside before I go all in, but... <laughs> and I also help my opponent a little bit by opening up the second rank for the defense. But overall... It's a really good position for me. I'm not playing it in the best way. This was definitely not the best way to play it. The queen maneuver. I should have taken back here and all that stuff. But as I said, I'm gonna try to not worry too much about the accuracy and go for whatever move I see. Intuition. Winning a, an exchange by intuition is not bad in my book. 
going on? What is going on here? I have so much time. I didn't even realize I have more time than my opponent. I was gonna free move the capture. Thank you for the game uncertified. Okay, the bucket. How do I do it? Bucket. <laughs> the bucket and the torch. As Cutie taught me. But this is pin. That was not part of the strategy. I'm gonna move it out so that I can have my knight coming too. Oh, capturing it. I'm gonna take with the pawn. Interesting. Making it interesting with the G file opening up. I don't know exactly I'm going that way with the knight, but you know what? Let's push. have an actual follow-up just yet because I should have developed my pieces before going for something concrete oh no my pawn my pawn um slow and I'm playing weird moves because I don't know the structure well and my pawn is gone yeah that was well spotted by my opponent but do not worry Anna this is just a pawn I would have played e5 that would have been a better move but oh well oh well <laughs> this is not my best game but it's only a pawn only a pawn, so stop worrying, Anna. Stop worrying. Let's close everything. <laughs> Shut it down. Here we go. Now I have my weaknesses too. Weaknesses I can capture. I'm winning that pawn. I'm winning this pawn too. Life is great. <laughs> Life is great. Oh shoot, I thought I made the move. Should have moved my rook first, but it's okay. again uncertified loser thank you for the game again thanks for that shout out to rubius for the amazing song minero because that allows 95 but it's what it is <laughs> as i said be okay with making not really always the optimal move just okay moves decent moves this too wasn't really needed but i played it it's an isolated pawn structure let's see how my opponent will deal with some of these trades if I'm offering a queen trade. Uh, after the capture, I was gonna offer a queen trade. Ooh, it's a bit annoying. Let's come back. <gasps> I'm blunting my queen! My queen! My queen! Okay, can I make a comeback from a queen down with less time? <laughs> Unlikely, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. This is a mission impossible, but I'm gonna try to swindle my way. Can we swindle? <laughs> I have a couple of pieces, but it should not be enough. Obviously, it should not be enough. At least my opponent is thinking a little bit. We got some, we got some momentum here. A bit of momentum, or my pawns will be gone. So the, here comes my momentum. Here comes my momentum. Oh no, my pawns! My precious, my precious. The problem with checks is I cannot pre-move anything. I'm gonna be constantly getting checks. That's very annoying. This check is... Oh! Another queen. 
not a queen on the board. Can I somehow flag my opponent when I'm completely lost and there's gonna be two queens on the board? Nah, I think I'm gonna lose on time and get checkmated too. Unfortunately. Checkmate next move. I mean, it wasn't checkmate, but it's not stalemate. Unfortunately for me, the bishop cannot move, but the king can, and then it's checkmate. Well played, Kaushi. Well played. The final stage of the game, my opponent played better than me, for sure. This is a sideline of the French defense, but I'm not too worried about it. Because I can just go for my normal developing moves. Oh! That's the point, but I don't mind losing that pawn either. I don't think that's big of a deal. I can lose this pawn too, but I'm gonna win this one. I like this. It's a tricky line, but I think it's good for me. This pawn will also leave the board. Pre-move. Take this pawn. Pre-move. It's pre-move it all the time. I'm gonna castle queen side, obviously. Obviously, castle queen side. Any tricks if I castle? No, there's no check. So I'm not, I'm not doing a bottles gambit here, for once. But I'm gonna give checkmate or win the queen. I'm winning! I'm winning! Cause the queen, if the queen moves, queen h2, queen h1, checkmate. Checkmate! Oh, so I have to play this with the queen up. I didn't expect my opponent to continue, so now I need to. Oh shoot, um, didn't expect my opponent to, to continue and it's uh, because I thought I was already winning on the spot. Not in bullet chess. I should remember that in bullet chess it's not fully over, even if I'm completely winning. I should be giving checkmate in a move or two again with rook h4. I'm gonna pre-move it. <laughs> my opponent didn't let me pre-move it. Return no, thank you for the game. I'm just gonna be very nervous, so I'm gonna go for the bucket. Playing the block, the bucket again, as QT taught me. Amazing. Um, I'm going for a bit of an improvised version of improvised version of the bucket. I don't even know why I'm taking. I shouldn't have taken, but this is what it is. It's what it is. <laughs> now my pawns are weak. Now my pawns are weak, and the screen is misplaced. Not the best opening um, from my end. I didn't play it as well as Cutie would want me to play it. That's that's the only thing. The spawn is still so weak. I uh, need protection. Ah, oh, I I have undone my pre-move, which I shouldn't have. Okay, that's a good move because well, it's not that much of a pin though. Now this endgame. I love endgame, so it's not ideal because that bishop is strong. Oh no. Well, not too bad. I can come back. I was like, I blundered my knight. Um, now the pawn. Yeah, this isn't exactly how you're supposed to be playing this. <laughs> I love endgames, but this is a bad one. This is a bad one. Constantly getting checks and all that stuff. My opponent is playing well. My opponent is playing annoyingly well and I don't have much time. I don't think I'm gonna survive this. To be fair. Guys, I think this is a lost case. This is an end game that I'm I'm worse and I have less time to. But let's hope for the tricky night moves. Maybe? Tricky night move just dropping more pawns. This is bad. It's bad. Well played, the patser. Definitely not the patser. I'm the patser here. Thank you for the lesson. So I'm gonna go with the London for this one. And I allow the capture on F4. I don't really mind it here. It's doubled pawns and such. Cause I think it's okay to allow it. But casting is important. Let's not do that because of bishop g4. <laughs> bishop g4. I spotted it. For once I spotted a potential blunder for me. Still a potential blunder. Oh! 
more blunders. Oh no, this is bad. But wait, I have this move. So this, no, this is still bad. This is still bad because I'm still losing the piece and I'm trading queens. Oh no, knight f- I should have played knight f5. Too late, too late. Well, Anna, now you gotta swindle with the piece down. Piece down to swindle. Move the knight, please, my opponent. No, not moving it. Totally understandable, why not move it? Why not to move it? Oh well. Time to swindle with the piece down. I don't know. I'm how am I supposed to swindle this? Okay, that's a good way to swindle. Thank you for the free rook. Thank you for the free stuff. Free stuff. Thank you. That's a good way to swindle. Take this too before I let my opponent have a, a pass pawn. Free stuff. Free queen. Now I'm gonna pre move that. Wait, no, I shouldn't have pre moved. Maybe now I can safely pre-move. Oh no, that was not a safe pre-move. That was absolutely not a safe pre-move. Man, what am I doing? I'm messing up my position. My oh no. I lost some time. Goodness me, this was such a bad game. <laughs> this was such a bad game. I'd like to blink it away. We started with 2100 as bullet rating. Now I'm below 2100. So in that sense, it's not a success, but I think what's success about this is that I feel like I'm learning a lot about when to pre-move, when not to pre-move, and also what I said overall, the mindset during the games, because my favorite time control will always be the long over the board classical chess. Classical chess is an hour, hour and a half, two hours, per player it's a lot of time i like to think i like to come up with the best possible plans but i should definitely not have that mentality of the perfectionist in speed chess especially not in bullet chess and just because you make a mistake you can blunder a pawn a piece a queen even but as long as you keep believing and keep making fast moves you might fight your way back so i think to me that's the most important learning lesson from today that whenever i felt like oh i made a bad move and it made me feel less confident and it made me doubt myself more that's bad that out out through the window it, it, you have to throw those kind of thoughts out because in bullet chess there's no time to doubt yourself and even if you did make mistakes inaccurate moves mistakes or even big blunders there's still a chance if you don't let the mistakes affect how you continue so with the speed you might flag your opponent and your opponent too might make a mistake or two that's the lesson i learned and i hope that next time i'm gonna be able to apply those in my games because i'm gonna try this again i'm gonna try this again soon in the near future Thank you so much for watching this was streamed live on my twitch channel where i stream full time five days a week do catch us live next time or follow the highlights and the votes here on my youtube channel in either case i really appreciate your support thank you so much again and bye for now until the next time <laughs>